A very good morning to my dear students. Welcome back to class after the short summer break. I hope you all have enjoyed the holidays well. Let's now move on to our study part. First of all, we will revise the previous done work till June 13th and begin with the new syllabus for the month of July afterwards. Today we are going to revise our grammar topic sentences, what they actually are and the parts of sentences and the types of sentences. These three contents we have in this video. Now let's start with what is a sentence. A sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense by itself. Now let's discuss its features or characteristics. Number one, a sentence consists of a group of words that makes complete sense. Number two, it has a verb. Number three, it begins with the capital letter. Number four, the words in a sentence are written in proper order. Number five, it has a subject and a predicate. And last, a sentence ends with either a full stop, a question mark or an exclamation mark. For example, Almighty is very merciful. I love my country. Please work hard. Let us build our nation. What a sunny day it is. Have you been to England? Now let's move on to the parts of a sentence. A sentence is made up of two parts. Namely, a subject and a predicate. Subject. It is that part of a sentence which tells us who or what the sentence is about. And predicate is a, that part of a sentence which tells us something about the subject. For example, the actor performed well. In this sentence, we are talking about the subject. But are the, what is the subject? The subject, the actors. And what we are talking about the subject is that they performed well. So the words performed well is the predicate. A verb is an essential part of a sentence and is part of the predicate. Subject and predicate are the fundamental parts of every sentence. In fact, it is possible to express meaning with just these two elements. Ahmed painted that picture. In this, Ahmed is a subject and painted that picture is the subject, is the predicate, sorry. Second sentence, the train from Karachi reached the station. Now, the train from Karachi is the subject in the sentence. Reach the station is the predicate. The hero rescued the crowd. In this sentence, the hero is the subject and rescued the crowd is the predicate in the sentence. This is all about the predicate and subject. Now, let's move on to the types of sentences. We have mainly four types of sentences. That is declarative, interrogative, imperative and exclamatory sentences. First, we will discuss the declarative sentences. Declarative sentence makes a statement. A full stop is used after this kind of sentence. My brother is a soldier. It's a very simple. It declares what your brother is. My brother is a soldier. It's a declarative sentence. An interrogative sentence asks a question. A question mark is used after this kind of sentence. Sentences that are, that are used to ask questions are called interrogative sentences. Like, are you Mrs. Sharma? What are you looking for? What are you doing nowadays? All these are the examples of interrogative sentences. Next one is imperative sentences. An imperative sentence makes a command or request someone to do something. This kind of sentence usually ends with a period, means full stop. For example, Mother, please buy me a packet of potato chips. It's a request. A boy or a child is requesting uh, his mother for a packet of chips. Don't eat potato chips. It's a command. Have some fruits. They are healthy. It's an advice or a suggestion. So mainly, the sentences gives orders or instructions, make request or offer advice are called imperative sentences. And the last one is exclamatory sentences. An exclamatory sentence expresses strong feelings. An exclamation mark is used at the end of this sentence. For example, the mangoes tasted great. What a beautiful sight it is. 
Exclamatory sentences help us communicate strong feelings of surprise, admiration, appreciation, wonder and shock. Beautiful baby he is, how wonderful the painting is. This, all these are the kinds of exclamatory sentences. Now let's do some activities. What we have uh, received from this video or what we uh, gained from this. Let's do it. Uh, read the following sentences and tick the right option. Let's discuss. Number one, Ali is a good student. Is an exclamatory sentence true or false? No, it's not an exclamatory sentence. It does not show any sudden feeling, admiration or appreciation in this. So, it's false. What a pretty dress it is. It is an interrogative sentence. No, it is a exclamatory sentence. Number three, what is your name? Is an imperative sentence. No, imperative are not the interrogatives. This is an imperrogative. So, it is false. Number five, open the door is an imperative sentence. Yes, open the door is an imperative sentence because it gives command. Now, let's on the other activity. It's a MCQ sort of uh, choose the correct option, choose of activity. You have to uh, opt the correct option from this. Uh, a group of words that makes a complete sense is called subject, predicate or a sentence. Yes, it is a sentence. It is a definition of a sentence. Sentence begins with dash and ends with period or question mark or exclamation mark. Second question is sentence begins with a dash and ends with the period a question mark or an exclamation mark. What will come in this blank? Capital letter. Sentence always begins with a capital letter. The subject of a sentence tells about dash the sentences. Which the sentences? Number four, a declarative sentence makes a question, statement or feeling. What it makes? Yes, it makes a statement. That's all for today. I hope you all have uh, well understood this topic, what we revised today. So, all the best and do at home again.